Hi. In this video lecture, we're going to look at how to customize the style and layout of a Spry menu bar. Now, in a previous video, we looked at how to create this and also how to modify the links. But in this, we're going to look at changing the layout and design. So if we go into the live view, you can see that it has a gray background and then when we hover over, we have the royal blue with the white text and the same thing on any of the drop down menu items as well. So this color scheme, depending on your layout and design, may not match. So what if we wanted to change the color of the font or change the color of the background here? So we can do that through using the style sheet. I'm going to go out of live view. Now this Spry menu bar is relying on the Spry menu bar horizontal.css style sheet for its layout and design. So in Dreamweaver, uh, one technique to figure out what kind of things you're going to style is we can click inside of the menu bar and if you look at the bottom here where we have our tag bar, this shows you where you are in relationship to um, your elements in your document. So where I clicked in, I'm in the anchor tag, which is in the list item, which is in an unordered list uh, with menu bar horizontal. And of course, that's all located in a content division, which is located in a container division. So as you see, by clicking these different items, they become highlighted on the screen so that you can start to isolate. This is just the link, and you can watch the changes up here in the menu bar. So that LI is that whole uh, container, that whole box. And then this UL menu bar horizontal is the whole menu bar. And then even further, this is the content division, this is the container division, and then this is the entire body section. So by clicking somewhere in our document where we want to isolate the style that we want to change is a good place to start. So I'm going to just click on this LI tag for the list item. And if you look at the style panel over to the side, we have two options. We can have all which shows us all the styles in our external style sheet and our spry menu bar horizontal style sheet. And if I click on current, it's going to show me the style based on where I have just clicked. So I have the entire LI tag selected for this first element in our navigation bar. And I can see the information displaying over here on the style panel with what style information is being used for that. So we can see, um, let me click right in the middle of the word home. And you can see that the background color and I'm going to expand this a little bit so we can see more of this style. It's a pretty long style name, um, but we can see the unordered list hover and unordered list menu bar horizontal focus. So focus is when you're clicking on something. Uh, we can see this royal blue color. So what I'm going to do is change this color and I'm going to make it something that is totally different than what it was originally. Now that just changed that one property, and there are going to be other properties. Let me switch back over to all, and if I expand the Spry menu bar horizontal style sheet, I'm going to give myself a little more room here. Um, you can, another technique is to go through here and just click and look at the different style information for each element. So if I'm trying to change that background color, I'm going to click through here and look for wherever that blue background is. And as I go through, I can see here's 
the background color. This is the background color of this. So I'm going to change that to something even a little darker, a little different. See, now we can see something changing on our screen. And I can change the color, which is the font color. So now I have a dark background with light text on here. There's the yellow that we started out with. Now here's another blue swatch, so I'm going to change that to match yellow. So wherever yellow was, or blue was before, we'll make it yellow. And so going through here, I can find the style information that I want to format. So now to preview this, it's best to preview it in a browser. So I'm going to come up here and choose to preview in Safari. And it'll ask me if I want to save everything um, because it needs to save the page and the style sheets are associated with it. So I'm going to click yes to save them. Okay, And here is the rendition in the browser. And you can see the background has changed to the dark color that I selected and the text color is uh, now light, whereas before it was dark. And then there's the yellow hover and even on these items. So the, the white text on the yellow background probably isn't the best. So I would go in and find the style in order to change and update that information. So back in Dreamweaver, if I wanted the hover to not have white text, but something that contrasted more with the yellow, then I'm going to look in here for the style that uh, might look like something that has the hover in there. So here's a hover, and here's the white or the yellow background with the white text. So instead of a white background, I might want to go with something um, more contrasting, so a darker color on that. And I see here's another hover. Um, so when I click on this one, uh, this also has white text, so I'm going to change that to be a black as well. Um, here's a submenu hover. I don't see anything about background color there. And here's another one. I don't see anything about background color. So let me save this and um, we'll preview it in a browser again. And so now you can see when we mouse over, we have the yellow background with the dark text. So those are some basic techniques to go in and start to customize the layout and design of a spry menu bar.